Welcome to getting started as an Okta end user. From your company's Okta.org login page, enter your username and password credentials. Once you've entered your credentials, click the sign in button. If you are signing in from a location from which your Okta administrator has set up multi factor authentication, or MFA, or you have closed and have reopened your browser, causing your current Okta session to end, you may be prompted to provide a second form of authentication when signing into Okta. If you have set up more than one MFA factor type, select the type you want to use from this drop down arrow here. In this example, I'm going to select the option to use SMS authentication, sending a verification code to my cell phone. Once I have received the code, I will enter it and click the Verify button. Once you have successfully authenticated into Okta, your Okta home page will be displayed. Apps that have already been accessed are displayed along with new apps that you've been assigned. Apps that have not yet been accessed will be designated as new, as we can see here with this app. Simply click one of the app icons to log in. The application will launch in a new tab of your browser. Return to the browser tab containing your Okta home page when you're ready to access additional apps. The first time you launch a new app, you may be required to enter additional login information. Enter the required credentials necessary to log in, and then click the Sign In button. If, however, your login was unsuccessful, click No, and you will be prompted to re-enter the credentials once again. You can also organize your applications using the customizable tabs on your Okta home page. Click the plus sign to begin adding a new tab. You can customize your Okta home page with up to five application tabs. Simply assign your new tab a name and then click the Save button. You can now drag and drop apps onto your new tab, thus moving the application onto the New Tabs page. Depending on how your company's Okta org has been set up, you may also be able to add applications of your own choosing via Application Self Service. To do so, click the Add Apps button. You can search for an app by name or browse by category and then by first letter of the app. You may also see applications managed by your organization located at the top of this page. Currently, my screen is not displaying any organizationally managed applications. For this example, I'm going to search for the application Facebook. Once you have located the application, simply click the Add button located on the right. Once you've added the application, click the Home button to return to your Okta home page. You can access settings related to your applications by clicking the symbol located in the upper right corner of the application icon. The See Password option allows you to reveal your password for a particular application. This assumes that your Okta administrator has enabled this option. The Update Credentials option allows you to enter or update the signing credentials needed for this application. And finally, the General tab will provide options to rename or delete an app or have the application launch automatically when signing into Okta. Again, the availability of these options may vary depending on your company's Okta configuration. Note that if the sign-on credentials for an application are set by an Okta administrator, you will not have the ability to see the password or to update the credentials needed to sign in to the application. As an Okta end user, you can also modify your account settings. To do so, click the drop-down menu which displays your first name, and then select Settings. With your account settings page displayed, some options you can change here may include personal information, your sign-in password, your security image, and your forgotten password question. Should you need to reset your multi-factor authentication options or would like to add an additional MFA factor, you can do that from this screen as well. You'll also have the option to select your native language at the bottom of this page 
While each Okta org is set up with a global language, you do have the option of overriding it by selecting your own native language using the language option at the bottom of the screen. Now, it's important to note that the options you see here can vary depending on how Okta has been configured within your organization. When you have finished updating your settings, click the Home button. Should you want to sign out of Okta, click the User menu labeled with your first name, and then select Sign Out. Should you forget your password, you can use the Forgotten Password option to reset your password. Begin by clicking the Need Help Signing In link located here on the Sign In page, and then click Forgot Password. Next, enter your username and click the Reset Via Email button. A password reset email will now be sent to both your primary and, if entered, secondary email addresses. Click the Back to Sign In button and then retrieve the password reset email. In the Account Password Reset email, click the link to reset your password and follow the on-screen instructions to create a new password and to sign back into Okta. You'll first need to provide the answer to your forgotten password question and then click the Reset Password button. Enter and confirm your new password and then click the Reset Password button. During the process of resetting your password, you will once again be logging back into Okta. And thus, you may be prompted once again to provide multi-factor authentication during the process of resetting your password. And so, as you can see, Okta provides a secure and efficient way for you to access the applications that you use every day. One final note before we conclude this video. Typically, enterprise organizations' IT departments configure most, if not all, of the applications assigned to you on a company-issued device. If, however, this is not the case in your company, or you are accessing company applications on another device, you may need to download and install the Okta Browser plugin to access certain applications. Should your browser need this plugin, a banner will appear across the top of the page indicating the need for the Okta Browser plugin. Click the Install Plugin button located in the upper right corner of the screen and follow the on screen instructions for installing the plugin. Note that the plugin is unique to each web browser and you need only install the plugin once for each device. Once the Okta Browser plugin has successfully been installed, the banner and indicator flags will no longer appear on your home screen. Thank you for watching Getting Started as an Okta End User.